Welcome back to another video. We are so happy you guys are here and we are excited to finally sit down and film like a talking video. We yeah. haven't done that in a while. In a long time. Yeah. So I feel like um, we're overdue for one, a video like this. And I am super excited for this video because it's going to be so funny. <laughs> um, as you guys can tell by the title, we are going to be reading some of our favorite hate comments. <laughs> yeah, so pretty much we had somebody read the comments on our YouTube channel and they sent it to us and we haven't read them yet or anything like that So we're gonna read them as we go and yes. react to them before we get started on today's video We just wanted to give a quick mention to Daniel Wellington You guys know Daniel Wellington is literally our favorite jewelry and watch brand um, We absolutely love them and we love their team and we are so happy to be working with them again today We are accessorized with Daniel Wellington. I have my quadro watch on which is literally perfection in a watch because of the square frame and i'm absolutely in love with the face like it just looks so minimal so beautiful and i got it in a silver to match my new elevation jewelry so they came out with a new elevation line i have the ring on right now and i paired it as well with the matching silver necklace so everything is silver today going with the blue theme you yeah. know <laughs> you never really wear silver i know i yeah. never never I really wear like silver it. i actually really like it. i think it matches my skin tone really really yeah. well and it's a good change so if you guys want to check out daniel wellington and make sure to use my code Jasmine Ferris for 15% off your purchase. You guys will be just as obsessed as I am, and I think they make really amazing gifts as well. No one's gonna be upset with a Daniel Wellington watch. That's for <laughs> no <sure>. one. <laughs> all right, moving on. Let's get started with today's beautiful hate comments that always make our day. Thank you very much to everyone that has contributed. <laughs> Don't you love when I do this? No, because you look like those flies. That no, are because cleaning I, themselves every like. time I watch, like you know, like Instagrammers or TikTokers, and they do like outfit pictures, and they go like they the, go, guys, like, the guys. The guys are always like. I don't know why and like they'll do something they'll do like this whole video and then in one part of the video they'll go like this for some reason naturally and i feel like they don't realize they're doing it so i've been doing it too just to like, like make flies. fun of them <laughs> we generally don't get a lot of hate comments thank god because we're cool <laughs> But uh, I think when we first started YouTube, we a lot of hate comments kind of came in because we were new to the space. People were like, who the heck are these guys? Who cares about these guys kind of vibe? Um, someone suggested we should react to our hate comments. So we had a friend of ours compile everything together without us seeing it um, so that we can kind of go through it just for the first time and react to it <laughs> authentically. So I'm excited. Like who I'm are these excited. haters? Are they, are they, is it really bad? Or? I have no idea how bad this is going to get, but no hard feelings guys we really don't care we're just making fun i of care i don't know what you're talking about i don't care I you don't, can hate all care. you want i don't care i don't care but um obviously like if you're being disrespectful and it's not funny like it's just just straight up disrespectful and rude that's a different story but i think all of these comments i don't know we'll see we'll see what we're getting ourselves into okay you ready though yeah okay all right, so this comment was on our very first video that we ever filmed together and it says what is this? Is it an episode of a TV love series? You should be very careful of your husband. He is obviously a powerful woman magnet. Hey <laughs> Would you like to be my second wife? Okay, okay <laughs> So the next one is under the same video, of course, <laughs> and this one is directed at me and it says he could actually do better, TBH. <laughs> that's mean. Okay, so on the level of like mean scale, that's probably like a 2 out of 10 because yeah. I could care less, but I just found it funny that people are just so straight up honest on the internet, but if they had seen us in like real life, there was no way someone would say that to you in person. No, they you won't. Know? Um, people get ballsy on the internet. Yeah, very, very ballsy. And it's just interesting. Like, do you but... remember that one picture that was posted on, like, some big Facebook page? Yeah, it was posted on, like, an Arab like, Facebook page. Our theme to our... In it was, like, something to do with our engagement photos. And our theme to the engagement photo was more, like... Uh, Fashion editorial. Yeah, so, like, we looked, like... Very serious in yeah, our photos, very which we did on purpose. Yeah, and then someone decided to post it, and everyone was coming like, "Oh, they don't look like they should be together. They're both they look depressed unhappy. and forced into." They even said, "Oh, they were like, they're like, she looks like she was forced to marry her cousin." <laughs> they... la, 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 la. <laughs> I was like, "What?" <laughs> Anyways, back to our comments. I just funny. think it's and funny. That was funny. That, that was so was really funny. funny. That was like when we were famous for like a good fifteen minutes. <laughs> <laughs> 
So this is also under the same video, and I found this so hilarious. They both need to get nose jobs, and he needs to get his teeth fixed. Next! <laughs> okay, you know what? At the time... Okay, first of all, my teeth are fixed. They're like perfect. Oh, you took his advice. I took his advice. <laughs> damn, I read that specific comment and I went and fixed my teeth. Oh. But nose job? Damn, I never thought of that. Do you remember actually when we went to Dubai? Yeah. We landed in the airport uh, in Dubai and then the lady was like, I could tell you're Arab from your nose. No, no. She's like, she's like, I could tell you're, you're, no. What did she say? She's like, you're Lebanese, right? And we're like, yeah. How did you even know? Because I was like, how did you even know he was Arab? Because yeah. he doesn't look Arab. And she's like, I could tell by your noses. <laughs> I'm like, what? And then I was like the first day I ever knew like my nose was big. I mean, big noses, we're Arab, we're proud, whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one has to be my favorite and it mm. is Haram. <laughs> that's Just, all? That's it. Literally, that's it. The amount of times we get this comment underneath our videos, just haram, period. Wow, what makes it haram? What is it about us that is so haram? I don't know. I don't get it. I don't it. get it. I don't get, I don't get, it. get it. You and tell us. You guys tell us. <laughs> yeah, like tell us what's haram about us. I love that there's no context. There's nothing. They don't just like haram. to explain what is haram about what we're talking about or what we're saying. I read one time a comment someone saying, because you're saying it's haram, that's haram. <laughs> like what? Har two harams equals haram. Equals haram. <laughs> Astaghfirullah. I love when people start off with Astaghfirullah. impact. Just letting you know, as it is my duty, Oof. there is no engagement in Islam. You are not halal for each other as you have not conducted the nikah. Oh. To touch each other the way you are is not permissible in Islam. <laughs> Please, Astaghfirullah. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> this dude knows nothing about us. Probably just watched the video, saw engagement, and that's it. Assumed that and we assumed. weren't. So like first that. of all, people got to stop assuming. Mm. Don't assume. Look always into it more. Always give the benefit of more. the doubt. Too. Yeah, like always give, for sure, give the benefit of the doubt. And then study it more. You know, if you think right away that's haram, what we're doing is haram, look into it more. You don't know that we, we did do our nikah. Yeah. We did our kata at the time. And we've never filmed a video together on YouTube before our Islamic marriage. Yeah. And the reason, I, most of you guys probably know this by now because you've stuck around for so long. But the reason why we used to call each other engaged is because culturally you're not married until you move in together, regardless of your nikah or not. We totally understand that Islamically we were married, but culturally our parents called us engaged yeah. so we respected their views and called ourselves engaged so that is that and then when we posted these videos saying fiance this engagement that everyone always assumed we were yeah, I not remember, married I remember the hardcore comments we yeah. used to get and we used to be called like crazy names and used to be like scolded and like just very very yeah. rude comments and is it because people assume right away but they don't study yes yeah, yeah. study it before you say something and if you have something to say don't put it out, out, out in public in the internet. Like, what's the point of that? Come speak to us personally. Send us yeah. a message. Because if you send us a message personally and be like, hey, I don't think what you're doing is right, we would be so glad to explain and say, no, well, actually, we are Islamically married. We're just culturally not. And it, we in our culture, people do the nikah, and it's considered an engagement. And then when yeah. you move in together, you do a wedding ceremony, and that's when you're considered married. Yes. So it would be such an easy solution rather than like putting For sure. your comment and out there. Don't worry about it. We're married now, so this doesn't even <laughs> matter anymore. Yeah, that's old news. <laughs> Reading hate comments with my fiance. <laughs> <laughs> Next comment, this one is hilarious, and I have no idea what the context is or where this person came up with this comment, mm. but it was on the same video as the initial one, the first one that we ever filmed. Again. Yeah, and it says, How did he fart on the face? I'm surprised. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, because in the video we were talking like... Oh. We were being silly and we said something about farting. Really? Yeah, yeah. And then I guess he took it to heart. Oh, why do people take things so seriously? <laughs> he actually thought that you farted on my face. Imagine, just picture that, like, me going in my pants, you know, going, to make, pushing Jasmine in down. In your and, pants? Yeah, I don't want to make it graphical. And then pushing, ja pushing Jasmine down and be like, hey, on your face. <laughs> you don't want to make it graphical at all, huh? That's pretty graphical. Yeah, but with pants on. Hell is graphical. It's graphic. Graphic, okay. But... With pants on, okay? Just imagine that. I don't want to imagine that. Anyways, next. <laughs> this one, actually, though, would reply to this one. This is really funny. I reply to a lot of them sometimes. Someone, I think, commented on Instagram underneath my photo saying, Hello, Jasmine. Main name is Karim. Married me? Question mark. 
And Dawood commented yeah. back saying, Hello, Kareem. My name Dawood. She married me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> that is like the best comment and reply ever. No, I got your back, I girl. literally like laughed so hard. Anyways, that's not really a hate comment. It's just funny. <laughs> Next comment is underneath our restaurant video. And someone was like, Yasmin, you are so pregnant. I could tell by your face. And I peeped the little belly. So exclamation mark exclamation mark. so that was like two years ago yeah. like how do you assume something that's not real and by the way i think we were yeah we were engaged at the time yeah, yeah we were we engaged were. and people were assuming that i was pregnant while we were like we hadn't had our wedding ceremony yet and i remember back then it used to bother me a lot like why would people assume i'm pregnant am i fat am i like is my belly big? Is my the, face actually the, that fat? Like, and the thing is, like, in it's in our culture, uh, nikah isn't enough for us to like be living, through, doing things in private like yeah, that. You yeah. know, you have to have married, and it's like you have to have you have to have moved into your home together, like yeah. moved in with each other to be. In called the eyes married. of God, it's okay. It's okay, but in in terms of like culture wise in our respect, community, respect to the family and, and stuff your like parents, that. Yeah. yeah. That is not a possibility. So whenever like we would get comments like that, I was Second. like, why? Like, am I that fat? <laughs> like, and the thing is, guys, I was the skinniest I had ever been at that time. I was like yeah. 98 pounds. Yeah, I remember. Think about that. 98 pounds and people were saying, oh, your face looks fat. You're you're definitely pregnant. Or I even, I even get these comments now saying like, oh, you're 100% pregnant. Look like, at your swollen face. Tell me like, how many months you are. Like, okay. It used to bother me back then because I was like, okay, wait, do, am I actually fat? But then now I realize like how hurtful those comments could be. Because what if we were trying to have a kid and then yeah. someone kept commenting those type of comments and it and it hits like it kind of like pulls at certain strings and it hits you like shoot, you know, like maybe I want to get pregnant but I can't, or maybe I don't want to get pregnant. I don't want to look pregnant. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. It's just a very sensitive topic, and I don't think anyone should comment about pregnancies. I just want no, to throw that out there. No, it's 100% true. Like, people and, shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, but honestly, these comments don't really bother me anymore because I'm used to them now. But, like, generally speaking, people shouldn't get used to comments like that. It's not It's not a good thing. So Stop doing it. No more pregnancy comments. Stop. It's very insensitive. We made a whole video about this on Instagram. And I think most people realize this. It's just the, the select few. Yes. That, yeah. We made a video of this on Instagram. What, what, what? Please leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Leave me alone, please. I don't know if I should be saying names. I mean, their names are going to be up on the screen. But Mr. Hassan says. Hassan. <laughs> or Mr. Hassan. Mr. Hassan. <laughs> Ishbakshi. <laughs> Relax. You don't even know his comment. Okay, go. You're being, you're turning into them. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming. <laughs> okay. But it's definitely something bad. Like, it's in a hate comment. So, okay, bring it on. <laughs> All right. So they basically get clout because they Arab but have Western features, okay. which you guys really appreciate. Ha! LOL, you people are hypocrites pretending to hate the West but low-key wishing you looked like one. Okay. Like she is so lame. The only thing she brings is having blue eyes while Oof. wearing headscarf. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Mr. Hassan, Hassan, all you are is jealous. That's all you are. <laughs> Relax, I'm getting so heated. No, because like... Okay, so I what? find this comment so funny because, first of all, um, Hassan, don't <laughs> ever comment that again. I know where you live. <laughs> Let me talk. <laughs> okay, fine. First of all, white skin, okay, light skin, and light eyes, like blue eyes, green eyes, hazel eyes, whatever, do not originate from the West. We yeah. have that type of look everywhere in the middle east yeah that's so true everywhere even it can stretch out to literally most of asia like you you can you'll find you can that find look it in, you can find anywhere. it in africa you can find that look anywhere so for you to assume that that look is specific to the western world just tells me how ignorant you are and how close-minded you are and that just speaks volumes on the type of person that you are and for me to use my natural like the way I naturally look for clout, like what? Like what? See, see, see Jazz is very logical. Me, I get like, <laughs> yeah, bring it on, Hassan, come on. 
He says the only thing I have going for me is my blue eyes because I and and like my blue eyes while wearing a headscarf. So you're telling me if I had brown eyes, I'd have nothing going for me. <laughs> what about me? <laughs> no, he never said anything about you. He just said that you look white and you're taking advantage of it. Thanks, Hassan, my boy. Oh, he's your boy now. <laughs> <laughs> This one's funny. I really want to say something, but I don't know if I should. I am entitled to my opinion, which is inspiring me to say it. But I don't know if I want to offend you. So I'll keep it to myself. <laughs> what does that mean? Like, what, what do you want to say? Why'd you comment? If you're gonna keep it's it yourself, like, keep it yourself. It's like, yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. Maybe, maybe. No, no, no. Like, literally, that's I'll so just, common. I'll just, I'll just let them know that I have something that I want to say to you, but I don't, to you, wanna but I don't say want, I don't want to say it. I don't want to hurt your feelings, but I don't want to hurt your feelings. But there's something wanna... in me that will hurt your feelings. Yo, we should like, we should like put that on a poster somewhere. Like, <laughs> put it on our house. Inspiration. Like, like knowing that she has something so important to say but she won't I say won't it i will take it to like, my so, grave <laughs> someone someone has a, like an idea of us that's in their brain and we were we're just so we curious will never know. we're just so curious to know what it is if you're watching this whoever comes this please we beg you let just us just tell know. us just tell please, us please tell us i really really tell really us. really really want to know i'll make a part two with just that comment i promise <laughs> <laughs> okay another comment this one says wait is this a white man, a Muslim? Okay. Never heard of this channel until now. Someone tell me. If he's not a Muslim, Astaghfirullah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what the heck? Just because I have light skin does not make me not Muslim. I don't get it. People like, think that Islam is like only for people who look Arab or only for people no, who look brown. No, no. Like, And like I see a lot of people commenting on our instagram or on tiktok for example like how's how's uh a hijabi, hijabi my guy married to a christian guy like yeah. assuming right away i'm christian yeah that's, or they that assume right away I'm, how like small their world or they can assume right away i'm a convert is that yeah. what a convert yeah oh how did you convert your husband yeah like what if i'm the convert he's not yeah i know i'm mm. so confused see like the thing is people just assume if you're gonna if you're gonna ask a question ask a question on by educating yourself yes first. or study it because some people are gonna like take it seriously they're and gonna they're take gonna... offense to that because yeah. it's like you know like why would you assume like Dawood's religion based off of the way he looks and when it comes to islam there's every single type yeah. of look on the face of this planet like anyone could be muslim you don't know it's not written on your forehead i really want to know who told her she's funny the way she talks and acts is just so awkward and cringy <laughs> this one's by miss kathy mandela hi miss kathy what's up kathy okay kathy mandela says go on a channel for muslim only remember we are not practicing syria law god bless the usa <laughs> Kathy, man, that's the new Karen. Kathy, we should just call you Karen, honey. Karen. Karen, honey, this world does not revolve around the USA. First of all, we're from Canada. What to do, baby? And second of all, go on a channel for Muslims only. What does that even mean? I don't know. Maybe Minder. Like, should I just start posting videos on Minder? <laughs> <laughs> and remember, we are not practicing Syria law, honey. No one's practicing Syria law here. I don't even know what that means. But what is Syria law? <laughs> like, what is that? No idea. Like, Kathy, honey, we're just zooming in on your picture here. You're, both, you're struggling. <laughs> <laughs> this person says, Cringiest couple. Yasmin is so awkward, it's hard to watch and finish a video, to be honest. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate your feedback. <laughs> you are cringy. I appreciate that. I'm actually the cringy one. We're both pretty cringy. No, no, you're not. I'm the cringy one. I'm really? the one that says, welcome back to another video. My name is Boo. No, but like, like I think us. together we're a pretty cringy couple. It's only cringy to us because we watch our own stuff. I think some people But no, actually, no, we're not cringy. We're pretty cringy. This video is cringy.
Our whole presence is cringy. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably so many more, but I mean, we're, it's not like we're sitting here all day looking for them. So we just had my friend send them over and we reacted to them for you guys. We hope you guys enjoyed our reactions. Again, we don't take this seriously. It's just fun and games and, you know. I'm just gonna go cry in the corner. <laughs> and we hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to check out Daniel Wellington. You can use code Jasmine Ferris for 15% off your order. Gift that special person in your life a nice Daniel Wellington watch or one of their jewelry pieces. I'm positive they will love it, and I'm sure that you guys will love it as well. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Oh, and by the way, oh. we are traveling very soon, so. You guys will be seeing a lot of pre-filmed content, some content while we're there. So we got you guys prepped and ready for our trip. <laughs> Follow us on TikTok and Instagram to check out where we're going. Make sure you stay tuned to all of our YouTube videos coming up. Subscribe and like our videos. What can I do with my honey? What can I do? <laughs> she is funny. Oh <laughs>